This is actually a super enchi spinner, which is a pinstripe and a spider. Bread to this ripper right here, which is a banana pastel enchi lesser bongo head clown. So let's see how many eggs mama has here. A couple of them are a little bit loose, so I'm gonna pull these aside really quick. We'll have to candle them. Does look like we've got one little slug egg here, but the rest of the clutch looks really good. Look at how cute this one little egg is here. It's a little boob egg here, but it should be completely fine. We have two, four, six good eggs, one slug. Should be some ripper of babies. Let's get these over to the incubator. Around the Reptarium, I actually hid five clues. Those clues will actually take you to enclosures that have eggs in it. Those eggs actually have money in it. Go find all five of them. So we're gonna be setting those down right here. Again, incubator's still pretty sparse here. We've got tons of clutches coming. So again, 57 days from now, we're gonna see what yields from this clutch. Oh my goodness, I can't see. Oh, got one! What the heck? You got one already? I don't eat your typical snake food. The snake Dang food it. is being rats. How did he already get one? Mice, pigs, rabbits. So what snake doesn't eat mice, rats, pigs? Oh! How did he already get one? The egg eating snake. Oh, what? Let's take a look. Bum, 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 bum. What does your clue say? I can't tell you. Bollocks. <laughs> Guess what I got? I got an orange egg. Oh, I got a dollar. Good, 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 good. That leaves a lot more for me. Four eggs left. So we're on day 56. This is a banger clutch right here. We started with six eggs. We still have six eggs. Little boob egg here, which is gonna be a little small baby, but nevertheless, we still have six eggs. Crazy for a super enchi spinner, meaning everything's gonna be enchi. This crazy pastel enchi lesser bongo head clown. We have one more sleep. Tomorrow I wake up, we can take these to the shop. At least all six eggs made it, which is awesome. It's gonna be a, a night filled of dreams of what could potentially be in these eggs. Well, it's the morning, day 57, six eggs left. You know what I'm gonna do too? This is just an amazing clutch right here. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well. This is a GHI Mojave ball pipe. I love it. Bred to a banana cine lorry. There was only two good eggs, and unfortunately, only one of them made it. I don't know why I left that egg in there. I tell you what, this combo could be, I mean, by far the world's first for a bunch of different things, but there's only one egg. So I figure I'll go ahead and cut that clutch too. What do you say we take these two clutches over? We'll go ahead and cut them and see what's inside of them. Oh, I got a freaking noty. <laughs> I should be the Red Wings mascot. What is that supposed to mean? Ass? No, the Red Wings mascot. Ooh, you should be poop, right? I should be the Red Wings mascot. That doesn't make any sense now, does it? Is it just? Okay. I know. Huh. Multi Sancta? Yeah, I lied to you. <laughs> Five dollar holler! Woo! I'm getting rich! Three eggs left, and the time has come. This is gonna be interesting because, again, everything is gonna be enchi, and there should be a lot of super enchis because there's a super enchi and an enchi on the other side. So, theoretically, three out of four should be super enchi, and then all the other stuff with bongo. There is just crazy stuff. So, as always, with our new technique of pinching the top of the egg, get those veins kind of separated out a little bit, and give me an opportunity to cut into it. And egg number one. You ready? Oh, this is gonna be exciting. No idea what some of these babies are gonna look like. They could be absolute rippers. So, here we go. Oh, let's open this up real quick. Let's see, it's gonna be so hard to tell what some of this stuff is because it's so light. Literally, that's the problem with some of these clutches. I mean, I don't know, it's definitely a lesser, it's definitely an enchi. Oh, uh, I can't tell beyond that. Gosh, so hard to see. Definitely have an enchi, possibly a super enchi and a lesser, possibly a bongo too, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, so we're just gonna keep cutting and hopefully, I mean, I mean, you know, there's gonna be clutches this year that until these things hatch, but the good news is we're gonna show you guys this hatching here a little later in the vlog too. So then we're gonna really know what every single animal is once it's out of the egg. Egg number two. Let's see what we got here. Again, every animal is so interesting looking. Oh, this is so reduced. Look at the pattern, the reduction of pattern on that right there. That is an absolute crazy animal. Okay, so we definitely know that this is a spinner. We definitely know it's a super enchi. We definitely know that it is a lesser. It's a possible bongo too. So I'm not really sure. You gotta remember all these are 50% possible head for clown too, which doesn't mean a whole lot, but if I'm gonna keep back females, they could be head for clowns. So it could produce some really cool clown stuff down the road. It's always good to have females the males probably you don't keep for the head clown part but the other part if you're gonna keep a ripper of an animal it might as well be carrying the trait for something like clown right but that last one was absolutely gorgeous cannot wait till these come out of the egg because they're gonna be absolutely ridiculous egg number 
three. Again, every egg is like opening up just the most amazing animals. Oh, let's see what we got. Again, another ripper. I think this might be the same animal as the last one. It's definitely a lesser. It's definitely a spinner. Definitely a super enchi. It's hard to say if it's a bongo. That's going to be the hardest part with some of these, right? Is how does the bongo react to all of the things that we put in here? It's going to be really, really difficult to tell. Yo, that lesser bongo stuff, like the first egg, that looked like a bongo to me because the lesser bongo really interacts well. But once you reduce the pattern with the spinner, all bets are off. Egg number four. What will we have in this one? So far, every animal has been just unbelievable. And I'm sure this is gonna be no exception to that. Get over here, so, okay, so now this is definitely a spider. It's, gosh, I love the way the soft patterns on these going, and that's that super enchi stuff. So this is definitely a super enchi, it's definitely a spider, and it's definitely a lesser, there's no doubt about it, and possible bongo again. Now we got this little tiny egg. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna cut this egg, to be totally honest with you. It's so small, and again, what'll happen is a normal baby ball python hatches about 70 grams, somewhere in that range, 60, 70 grams. This will probably be like 30, 35 grams, but it should still thrive. There shouldn't be any reason that it shouldn't, but we'll go ahead and see what's in this egg. It's gonna definitely be a weird one. There's no doubt about that. We'll see if we can actually see what is going on in here. Ooh, let's see here. It's got such a hard, it's so hard to look inside of it. This looks like kind of like the dad a little bit in the sense that it's a pastel, it's a lesser, it's an enchi for sure, possible bongo as well. So it looks very similar to the dad. Once that hatched out, we'll have a better understanding, but it's so hard because it's such a little tiny egg. Down to our last egg, people, last egg. So far, we've definitely been crushing the odds. There's been nothing that has been less than extraordinary in this clutch. So let's go ahead and see what this last egg has to offer. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so exciting. Cannot wait till these buggers climb out here just in a couple days. So let's take a look here and see what we have. Another, oh my gosh, look at that animal right there. Oh, there's like virtually no pattern on it. Definitely a spinner, definitely a lesser, definitely a super enchi with that reducing of pattern. Probable pongo. I mean, this could be the all gene animal here. I'm not 100% sure, but nevertheless, that is ridiculous. That is the best one, the least amount of pattern out of all of them. So who doggy, did we crush the odds? and produce some really cool animals. Again, some of these animals, if they're females, probably gonna raise them up, try to see to prove them out, see if they're heifer clown. And hey, the thing that's beautiful about this vlog is we're gonna show you these guys hatching just in a couple minutes. Whoa! What? Right. Dang it, I found it. Are you snake me, dude? Okay, okay, I got this. Nothing, oh, I see it. I gotta hurry, man. I don't know if I want to get this one. Oh, God. Woo -hoo -hoo. All about speed, oh, baby. I've got one. Only two more to go. As I promised you, we're gonna actually cut that GHI Mojave to the Banana Lori Cine. I'm telling you what, if, if we hit an all gene animal, or even any combos in this, it could be one of the coolest snakes that I produce all year long. I have no idea what to expect, and we could just completely miss the odds, but there's only one egg in this entire clutch. So we are definitely pressing the boundaries of uh, snake odds gods, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead, cut it, and <sighs> deep breath. Here we go. This is a unbelievable potential, but only one egg, and it could be either the dream egg or it could be a complete disaster. I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Ooh, it is, it is not what I expected, and I don't even know what to think about it, to be honest with you. I'm trying to take a closer look here, guys. I don't know what to think. It looks like almost a solid white animal. So this, okay, so let me try to break this down the best I can. So this is definitely a banana. This is definitely a GHI Mojave. The question is, does it have Lori or Cine in it? And I don't know. Now, I know that it's not a banana GHI Mojave because they look nothing like this. So I know there has to be some other gene in it. The question is what that other gene is. I don't know what to think of this. And because we're doing the egg cutting the way it is, we'll show you when this one hatches in this vlog too. So you guys are gonna see this baby when it crawls out and we're gonna find out together. Nevertheless, I'm super happy that we didn't prove something really normal because we could have missed all the odds. There's a chance this could be the all gene animal. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out here in a couple minutes. Mr. a rare gemstone. Uh, 50, baby! <laughs> I don't think this is it. You're not a snake. Huh. I want to find out a rare glue. <laughs> Gems. Yeah, yeah. Glue gets you. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Let's see what's there. there are only three now. Can I help you with that one, Noah? You need some help? Okay, put you there. How much you have? Pickles. It's on fire. Damn clue. You could have put it way up top. And I'm so excited. The first ones have crawled out. This actually looks like a super enchi banana hospital bongo. This one just looks like a banana enchi spider right here. And then of course we have a handful of other eggs. So in the next day or so, these guys should all be out and I'll show you every snake that hatched. I'm trying to think about all the places that they hid stuff in the packs, you know? Yeah. Where is this clue? Okay, so the only thing I can come up with, this is not a snake, but this is a gemstone. It's been 63 days now and all of the babies are out. And this is the one that I'm a little bit baffled about. This was the GHI Mojave right to the Banana Cine Lori. And basically I produced a white snake. Can't really see any pattern on it or anything. Now the Banana GHI Mojaves are kind of a cool looking snake. We produced those before so we know what they look like. The fact is I don't know what causes it to delete all the patterns. So there's definitely either Cine or Lori or Lori and Cine in there causing this crazy animal to hatch. We'll go ahead and set this up, let it shed out. And here in a couple minutes, I'll show you what it looks like after it sheds. Come on, Jay, help me brother out. I want to, but I can't. Come on, come on. For me, so bite me. Oh. I'll bite your finger and never let go. I'm a snake named after a rare gemstone. Emerald tree boa. Oh, crap. Now I don't know. I got it. Yeah, check an anaconda water. Let's check the blackhead pythons first. Because these guys <laughs> don't like Is there an egg in here? Did Mike find the last clue? Yeah. No. You might want to barter figure out what it is. He's in snap and pop. It's not in here. I haven't found my clue yet. What, what was your clue? I'll tell you mine if you can tell me yours. Uh, mine was I'll bite your finger and I'll never let go. This one? I'll bite I'm your a finger. I'll bite gemstone. I'll bite your finger and I'll never let go. Last egg. I'll bite your finger. Oh sh! I know who that mine is. Here's your clue back. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> what, what is, is it? What is it? Dang. Well, you still have to find my last clue. All uh, right, yours is a gemstone. Yeah. I don't know what mine could be. Yeah, Mike's still searching. Come on, Luna. All right, all the eggs have been found, but Mike doesn't know that, so I'm going back to work. I looked at Ruby sketch. I know. This doesn't make any sense. Gemstone, but I don't see it. Well, you had keys on, right? I'm named after a gemstone. Huh. I'm thinking like the crystal thingies. So you got like ruby, pearl, quartz. I don't know this stuff, okay? It's gotta be on this side. Should we Google it? I gotta make sure I gotta check Safari before. Gemstones. Please bring up a thing of gemstone. Wait, I don't want. Ah, that guy Mike, you know? Holy crap, there's so many of them. Cam, that one. What's that? It says like Cam. What if it's chameleon? I don't see it. Gosh dang it. This is dumb. Jay, I'm looking at the list and I really don't know which one. And then all the rest of them are hash out except for this little tiny boob egg here is still in the egg. Now the interesting thing about this is how to tell the bongo part. This is definitely a banana super enchi spinner, possible bongo, don't really know. This one is definitely a bongo here. There's no doubt about it. This is the banana bongo super enchi spinner right here. So you can see the difference between those two animals. I think the bongo is in there for sure. This looks like again, just a banana super enchi spinner. We definitely have what looks like a lesser bongo right there. It doesn't look like any other genes. And then maybe just a banana spider right here. I don't think there's anything else in here. Definitely Enchi because everything has to have Enchi, including this here. And this looks like actually just a lesser Enchi probable bongo. And then this is just a banana Enchi spider right here. And this little, little monkey that hasn't hatched out looks like a banana Enchi. So we'll go ahead and get these guys set up here. And then once they shed out, I'll show you guys just here in a minute. Per dot, as in like per dita. Opal, amber, emerald. 
You gotta be joking. But it's not in here. <laughs> it's something else. Where's the freaking egg? Am I going crazy? Diamond, turquoise, crystal, aquamarine. Aqua is in the tank, so maybe it's in a tank somewhere. This is so weird. This is more difficult than I thought it'd be. Not in that tank. And they're all shed out. And I tell you what, I am baffled by this one. This is definitely a banana GHI Mojave. But the fact is it had cinnamon and it had lori in it. And basically I have an all white snake with black ruby eyes, which is kind of baffling. You see a little bit of pattern on it. So I'm trying to figure out the fact is it's definitely a banana. It's definitely a Mojave. It's definitely a GHI, but that would have a lot of pattern to have a bunch of color in it. So the cinnamon and lori somehow canceled out the color and pattern. Not sure if it's the all gene animal or not. We're going to have to raise this little monkey up and see what it turns out to later on. Find out what actual genetics they are what do we have that's named after a thing this is why we need smart people working here <laughs> and it ain't me i mean basculus i'm just walking around in circles hi girly no food if you ever watched that video go watch it <laughs> yeah you like that plug jay huh? it was worth a shot there's no more foods left i'm looking for the egg no there's nothing left what this gopro is burning my hand Egg and then the next clutch that actually shed out too is the one that we first cut and this is actually just a banana super enchi spinner so it's got spiders got pinstripe it's got super enchi and it's got banana that's an absolute ripper there there's no doubt about that this one here is actually just a lesser bongo ball python the bongo and lesser are both incomplete dominant mixed together really cool to make a really cool animal i'm loving this one and then this one happens to just be a banana a spider and an enchi ball python doesn't look like there's any bongo in this one then we have an absolute ripper ripper right here this is banana it's super enchi bongo it's pinstripe and it's spider just look at the color and pattern on that one so that basically is almost the all gene animal there and then lastly we just have another banana super enchi spinner which would be pinstripe and spider it's amazing how different animals look after they shed out hope you guys enjoyed the journey of this one this video's over hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me also hit that like button while you're down there have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. So what, there's just, there's just no more eggs left? You're just leaving me up there to find nothing? No, there's...